to preface this review, I know absolutely nothing to the book that the film The Watchers is based on. I'm not privy to anything about The Watchers book. I'm not privy to the author of The Watchers book. I'm not privy to anything. So bear with me when I give you my review for the film The Watchers because I don't know if they deviated from the source material. I don't know anything about the source material. Now, The Watchers, I believe, is the very first directorial and writing debut for M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. Uh, I believe her name is Ishana Shyamalan. This was also produced by M. Night Shyamalan. Now, The Watchers, the number one thing that will stick out watching through this film this is definitely a Shyamalan family-led film throughout. The atmosphere, the setting, the visual effects, which most are practical effects, and I love that, like going into the woods, and that alone sets great atmosphere and scenery and great imagery as well. Now, The Watchers is basically about a girl that stumbles in woodlands, by accident and gets trapped and ends up literally being held hostage in a box house with three other random people while beasts basically torment them every night. And they have to kind of figure out first how to get along and live together and then finally realize they're sick of that life and they try to find ways to get out. Now this film honestly is shot beautifully. It's filmed beautifully. This is a Shyamalan film through and through. The practical effects, and there are a lot of them, even just the setting itself. I loved how this film looked. I loved how this film is shot. I love that 90 to 95% of this film looks realistic because again, practical effects are real. Now, the beasts, when you, when you see imagery of them, yes, they're going to be VFX. That's just because the imagery of the beasts are the beast being in fog, in darkness, so that you can't really do much with practical effects with that. So the beasts are basically CGI, I'd say. Now, the story, as I've already prefaced what it's about, I thought it was okay. The writing was okay. This is kind of like a, a middling decent story from a Shyamalan. And the acting is okay. Nobody really is given anything to go way over the top with. But they all do fine jobs for what they're given. And the story as well goes through actually backstories for everybody, including the creatures. And I did appreciate that about the story and the writing. I'm not entirely sure why the critics seem to hate this film because while this isn't a great film by any means, this surely is not a terrible film. I've seen terrible films. Terrible films look like garbage. This film doesn't even look like garbage. So I don't understand why this is sitting at 27% on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't understand that. I would understand more so if this were at like a 50% and I'm not giving that as my rating just so we're clear, but it would be more understandable if this were like 50% on Rotten Tomatoes or 60 or even 40, but 27%, that's the same rate, that's the same percentage as Suicide Squad back in 2016 and you'll be able to tell a difference in the passion that was put into the Watchers as to the shit editing job of Suicide Squad. So Suicide Squad definitely deserved that 27%. The Watchers, I don't really see that. But The Watchers for me, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the story, I enjoyed the writing. I definitely enjoyed the direction of this film. You've, you're able to follow through this entire film, not really feel confused, not, nothing really feels jarring, nothing really feels quick. But with that being said, honestly, not much really goes on in The Watchers. It's literally just people that are enclosed in a boxed house being tormented by creatures at, at night, every night, 
And that's basically the story set aside all of the exposition for the creatures and the characters. Otherwise, that's essentially all the story is. And a gripe I've, I had with this film, while I did love the atmospheric effects for the suspense of this film, especially nearing the end, definitely before the three, four fucking plot twists in a row, when they're in the woods at, near the end, trying to get out and everything. I did love how that setting was filmed and directed where it wasn't just things popping out and jump scare music. I did appreciate that scene. Now, before that scene, a whole lot of this film definitely relies on jump scares. And not only are jump scares already ineffective, they're super ineffective in this film. This film basically starts off on a jump scare that doesn't work at all. So overall for me, The Watchers, it's not necessarily a great film, but it's nowhere near a travesty, terrible film like critics are trying to tear it apart as. I would say The Watchers, first of all, I have to give credit for Shyamalan's daughter because I believe this is her first written and directed film. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is her first one. And I have to give her credit because this isn't a trash, a completely dumpster fire of a film. Whereas 95% of filmmakers out there, their very first films tend to be trash, set aside Quentin Tarantino and Denis Villeneuve and Christopher Nolan. But again, I did appreciate that this was a great job for a first written and directed job for a film. But there are a lot of problems with The Watchers and that's why I have to give The Watchers a six out of 10. Thank you.